My dear brothers and sisters, let us gather today in the presence of our Lord to reflect upon the profound truth of God's unconditional love. It is a love that transcends our human understanding, encompassing all of creation and extending to each and every one of us. We are reminded that God's love knows no boundaries or limitations. It is not dependent on our achievements, our status or our worthiness. Instead, God's love is freely given, showering upon us without reservation or condition. It is a love that surpasses our flaws, mistakes and shortcomings, embracing us in our brokenness and offering us forgiveness and redemption. To truly embrace God's unconditional love, we must humbly acknowledge our own need for it. We are all imperfect, prone to wander and fall short of God's perfect standards. Yet, it is precisely through God's love and sacrifice, demonstrated in the death and resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, that we find the path to reconciliation and restoration. When we fully grasp the depth of God's love, we are empowered to accept ourselves as beloved children of God, worthy of love and grace. This acceptance allows us to extend that same love to others, just as we have been loved. We are called to love without judgment or conditions, showing kindness, compassion, and forgiveness to our fellow human beings, regardless of their background, beliefs, or actions. We are called to see and treat others as beloved children of God, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity within each person. My dear friends, Embracing God's unconditional love also calls us to practical action. We are called to be the hands and feet of Christ in this world, serving others selflessly and sacrificially. This means giving of our time, resources and talents to meet the needs of those around us. It means being a listening ear, offering support, and standing in solidarity with those who are suffering. It means seeking justice for the oppressed, advocating for the marginalized and working towards reconciliation in a divided world. As we fully embrace and extend God's unconditional love, we become agents of transformation in our communities and the world. Our love becomes a living testimony of God's love, drawing others towards the abundant grace and mercy that is found in our Lord. It creates an environment where people feel accepted, valued, and empowered to grow in their faith and relationship with God. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us embark on this lifelong journey of understanding and experiencing the depth of God's love. Let us continually strive to live in the fullness of this love and be vessels of His love to a hurting world. May we be guided by the words of the Apostle John, who said, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. 1 John 3, 18. Amen.